Hey folks, Sam here with Sam Wood Outdoors. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this badass possum skin cat. You can do a coon skin, you can do a fox or whatever, but I got the tail back here. And you know what? I'm, I'm freaking styling it. But no, this was a really, really super easy project. Started out like this, and we ended up like this. So let's go in and show you how to make it. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna make this right here. This is the important part. I got all the measurements from our hat here. I got the possum hide here. We don't need none of that yet. We're just gonna work on making this. So, here we go. First things first. I found this box to be very useful. It is a medium, here it is. Medium flat rate box. You get them from the post office for free. So get your cardboard, piece of paper, whatever you're going to use, just get it and we're ready to go. I like this because when I made that, I kind of remembered some things. So this is what I'm going to go with. First things first, we got to open this up. See the seam right here? Just run your hand under there. That's it. Done. Easy peasy, chap and easy. Okay. So we're going to use this edge. And we're going to use this edge. These two red lines here were pretty important to me. So this we're going to save. We got to cut our circle. It's going to be our first thing. So we need this. This is uh, seven inches. I mentioned that before. Seven inches across. Just like that. Seven inches. You could go seven and a half, um, but I wouldn't go any smaller than seven. So find yourself something round that's pretty close to seven inches. This is six and a quarter. So all I gotta do is, hold on, I have a little thing going there. So all I gotta do is uh, make it a little bit bigger. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna leave this out right here, get it close to an edge or a corner here. That way you don't have to cut so much, but make sure, make sure you hold it back. You know, because like I said, I got to make this a little bit bigger. So you're going to want to make it, a, you know, hold it back a little bit. So, that being said, let's do this. All right. So I want to be uh, about that much bigger. So anyways, I'm going to draw my circle here. And I'm telling you guys, you can go through just about anything. That's a circle. So we got our circle. Now, I'm going to cut that out. But I'm actually just going to cut like that much bigger. And you know what, guys? It's a freaking coonskin cap. You're not going to know if it's uh, bigger or smaller. So here we go. We're going to cut this out. Get the right angle here. Go. Oh, Melissa's home. She was off doing crafts with her mom. You can come in. Don't be all freaked out. We're only making a coonskin cap here. But don't be rude. At least say hi to everybody. That wasn't very loud. I don't know if they could hear you. Yell Hello, at everybody. There you go. I say yell at them when like when you're yelling at me. So there we go. We got our circle. That is the top of our hat, just like that. Easy peasy, Japanesey, we're done. Now we gotta make the sides to our hat. And this is a little bit different. Basically, what I did was, I needed a straight edge. So, you could find a straight edge, or you can cut this baby right here, just like that. And then we're gonna go off of this edge right here and basically, what I did is I measured, get my handy dandy little measuring thing here, and my marker. There we go. Get this out of the way. So anyways, this right here is three and three quarters of an inch. 
That's what I came up with. That's what I like. That's what I'm going to do. So, we're going to go three and three quarters of an inch. Up. From here. Put a mark. Then we'll do the same thing over here. Three and three quarter. Put a mark. And then I'm going to run this across here. And we're going to draw our line. Just like this. And here it is. So, let's cut that out. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Take that one. Make another one. You can measure it out, or you can use this as your stencil. That's it, cutter, and we are ready. Did it all work out for you, hon? Did it? She's making crafts herself. She had a big project. And maybe someday she'll do a video for you guys and some of the stuff she makes. All right, so now this garbage, done. So we have this, now, you want to do is you want to come in a half an inch from one end so it's like this and take your other piece use it as a straight edge and draw a line from this corner to that half inch mark just like this Boom, done perfect we're going to cut that garbage. Same thing here. You can either measure it again or you can use this one as a template. Done. Done. All right, there we go. So now Remember the measurement you had off of your noggin when you measured around your head? And I don't remember, I think mine was, what was mine, 22 and a half? Let me get the measurement here real quick. Make him a coon skin cat. My possum cat. It is. So there it was, 23. So half of 23 is 11 and a half. So that's what we want. If you hold this up, this right here, this is the short end, this is the fat end. We want it to be 11 and a half inches. So, on both of them. So let's go ahead and do that. Because the fat end is the one you put around your fat head. So, 11 and a half, right there. Top has to be a half inch shorter. So we'll go to 11, done. Same thing on this one. Eleven and a half. Eleven. Use this as our straight edge. Whoop, I screwed that one up somehow. And double check before you cut. Measure twice, cut once. That was 11 and a half. And that one's 11. All right. Oh, I see. There was a different mark on there. Oh, I got her now. I was right. Somehow it don't look right. It ain't right. It cannot be right. Oh, you know what? Because, duh. All right, here's where I screwed up. Obviously, if you go 11 here and you got the half inch already off, 
you are going to end up with a straight line. So we actually got to go 11 minus the half inch. So you got to go here 11 and a half minus a half inch gets you down to 11, which gives you a straight line, minus another half inch, which is 10 and a half, gives you your line. So actually, just just, scrap, just take an inch off and you'll be fine. Then we'll draw our line. You know, remember when your teacher said you were going to use algebra when you got out of school and all of that geometry and all that shit? She was right. So on the top one here, I got to change this one to 10 and a half also. And if you guys don't get why I did that, don't worry about it. Just do what I tell you to do and you'll be fine. So there we go. So now we're going to cut them bad boys. Done. And done. All righty. Garbage. So now we have our two side pieces. Basically like that. And then we got to make them into a circle. So what I did was... I just took them and kind of kept folding them up so they got soft. You know what I mean? So they're flexible, kind of like a hat. Just like that. Do the same thing to this one. It's kind of like when you got to use a newspaper for toilet paper. You should crumple it up first and then keep uncrumpling up. And it'll make it nice and soft for you. So there's your tip of the week. If you need outdoor toilet paper, take newspaper and crumple it up. So anyways, here we go. Now, now we got to tape this together to make our hat brim or our hat piece. And then we got these. Now, you know, you got a, a short piece and a fat piece. This one doesn't look that great. Make that a little bit. There we go. So we have a, the fat end and the short end, the fat end and the short end. You want the two short ends to go together and the two things so it'll make... It'll make a V. It's like this. It's going to go up and up. And you're going to understand why in a minute. Get my tape out here. And we're not building a church. So, but we want it to look good. Just like that. Just like that. Now, we're going to do the same here. So we'll get our tape that lay that down so it sticks bring this around join the two corners and there we go so now you basically have a hat that's bigger in one opening and smaller in the other so that way when you set it on your head it fits snugly then we got our round piece that we are going to put in the top, just like that. And we might need some adjusting, but let's get her taped together. Actually, first, before you want to do that, I want to test this on your head. All right. So that is not fitting down very far in my head. So I want to make it a little bit bigger. And that's why we made this. So we can adjust and make things right. So what you want to do is take and cut it right on one of them seams, right through your tape, get a new piece of tape, just like this, lay it on there. And this time when we roll it together, we're going to make a little gap in there. So I wanted to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go with a about a quarter inch gap right there and I'm gonna tape it back together and I'm gonna put it on my head oh yeah much better let me show you see much better fits on my head perfect so now that everything fits right we are ready to put our top on now you might have to depending on how you did your fit you might have to make that a little bit smaller or bigger hopefully smaller because you can't make it bigger we already cut it mine's got to be a little bit smaller so I'm just gonna shave some off we're almost to the exciting part where we get to cut some hide but 
That's the exciting part. This is the important part. So, set that down in there. Still a little bit smaller. I got some places that are a little bit wider than others. I'm going to trim it off of there. Alright, let's see again. Oh yeah, much better. Much is better. So now, let's get our tape again. Put some there. And we'll get our hat underneath, our top piece there. Just like that. All the way around, a couple pieces. One there. Nope. Just like that. Just like that. And just like that. So now we basically have a pattern for our coonskin cap. So now what we're gonna do is we gotta cut this all apart. So I'm gonna take this all apart. We're gonna get our hide laid out and we are gonna get rock and rolling. Give me a minute to get everything together for the next stage and we will move on. All right guys, here we go. This is the original one I showed you in the beginning of the video. We made this one and now I cut it apart so I have my pieces that I need to make my hat. So now, we have to take and split our pasta. If it's you don't have it already done, this is uh, this is kind of how I got mine back because I obviously fletched them, stretched them, and dried them. So what we got to do is we have to split this down the belly so we can open it up and, and see what we got to work with. So I got my shank. If you guys don't know the shank, you haven't been introduced to the shank. Watch my knife first knife making video. So anyways, when we cut. We always want to cut from inside the leather out. If you go like this, you're cutting the hairs. You don't want to do that. We want to go from the inside, the leather side out. So we'll get our knife up in here. Reach up in there as far as you can. Kind of grab him by the lip there and poke your knife through. And then just run it down the belly. Stay as close to the middle as you can. It's like this. And then we'll cut that lip right down the middle. Here we go. So now we have our leather inside out. There's his legs. So now we got to figure out what we're going to do here. We're obviously the face is going to be the face that we have here. So we have that. And then we have the face in that circle. So what I'm going to do is right behind Basically the ears, just like this, right here is the ears. We're going to fold that over the front like this. So we're going to draw our circle right here. And this is going to be the face and the top of our hat. So we got to go like this. Get this drawn. So we have that. And so now we have to look at this again. You know what? We have to come down below the ears because now that I look at this, this is sewn on. No, it's right. Okay, so we have this. We're going to cut this out. And, and I don't know how the face is going to go on yet because, guys, this is the first one I've ever made, too. And I'm just proving you guys that you can do just anything you want. So what I'm going to do to make sure I save me enough, um, I'm going to want to go along here. So we're going to probably go like this and then do the same thing on this side like that. Okay, good deal. Now we have our sides of our hat. 
and we want the this is the belly this is the top of the this was a skunk this was right along the, the middle of the back so obviously we don't have enough room to get two out of the middle of the back I'm sure he made this out of two skunk hides because you see we got there and there so that's the top of two skunks backs so we don't have that option we're trying to use one hide um, I would say I want it thicker on top and and maybe the thinner fur on the bottom the belly fur so with ours if you have two coon hides or two skunk hides and you want to do it this way heck go right ahead you know but we're trying to do this with one so I would want the thicker fur on top and if we look the top is the narrow end so we have our fat end down here and our narrow end there so this is kind of how we want this to go um, just like this so that lays out pretty nice we got a little gonna be a little short here so we're gonna have to move this over here so there we go that is a uh, that's looking pretty sweet so let me draw this out. I think I'm going to draw this out here. And then this. And then this. And guys, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. The mountain men didn't have it straight. I'm going to grab my pen again. <clears throat> so we're going to go up here. Like this. And down here. Then up here and then we're just gonna kind of draw the line down the middle so there we have it we have our two pieces make our lines better here and I'm gonna make this uh, probably a little longer here on top just so I have enough room I don't want it to be too small and I want to make sure I got enough so we're gonna go like this and we're gonna connect this here we're gonna do the same thing over here you know and then if it if it ends up a little bit too fat for my head I think all I'm gonna do is then I can just take some stitches and tighten that up so I'm gonna get as as much here I'm gonna make this a little half inch longer because then I think I gotta have room to to sew so we gotta do that just like that and I think we're set. So now, let's cut it out. Same thing here. We want to drive the knife in and slide it along. We don't want to cut it with a scissors or anything like that. Once we get our knife in there, it's like that. We're just going to go along and cut that leather. Good sharp knife pays here, guys. That's for sure. The shank is sharp. Take your time. Cut that line, just like that. Perfect. I'm loving it. And don't don't hold it like this and push down and cut because you're still going to cut that hair. You know, cut it and then lift it off the lift it off the uh, the table here. Kind of spread it with your fingers. like this It'd be interesting to see what the color of the fur is going to be I never even looked on the other side to see where my cuts were going to be so hopefully I'm not too thin on the belly side but if I am I am it's a possum what can you do and we'll cut this now that top Start getting up there in that shoulders, that hides a little bit thicker. Awesome. And then, once I cut this, it's basically all that's going to be left is the tail. So well, there's my first piece. Wow, that's going to look kick ass. There's going to be the top. That's going to be the bottom. We're going to have our tail left over here. 
You guys might want to do this outside on the picnic table. I'm noticing a lot of hair. But it is what it is. I'll have it all cleaned up. So there's the tail. We're going to sew that on the back of the hat. So we have our tail of our possum or our coon or whatever. So we have that. We have that. Now, cut that line there. Sorry, I ain't talking, guys. You get bored. I'll probably edit some of this out. So we have the other side, and now let's do this up here on the face first. Don't throw your scraps away, guys. We'll figure out something to use with them. I we'll have that. Now we'll cut our circle out here. This is just an awesome project. I'm glad we're doing this. I've always, you know. I'm lucky enough I can buy the stuff that I want, but, you know, this is going to be pretty cool making it. Oh, got a little off track there, but we'll be okay. Perfect. Cut the face here. Grab my knife through. Now, if you guys start making fur hats for a living, um, you know, send my percentage. Get a hold of me on YouTube. Um, send my percentage of the, the proceeds, and, and we'll be fine. No, I'm just kidding. I hope you guys do make something. You know, when fur price is down, this is just another good thing you can do. Try to make some extra money with your fur, rather than just sending it to the auction and settling on what you get. And I know right now there's just a ton, a ton of people selling tan fur on eBay, so that market's getting saturated. So, all right, so here we got her. We got the top of our hat. We got the sides. We'll fold this down over the front. And we got the tail. So, there it is. Two sides. The tail. And the top. So, pretty easy. Now... Let me adjust my camera here. All right, now we got all that. Um, it's time to do the shitty part, the part I'm dreading, the sewing. All right, guys, starting to look like a freaking bomb went off in here. But anyways, I got a little bit of the sewing done. I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna show you what I encountered. I'm gonna show you the next step, and then uh, we're just gonna keep going. So let me get the camera down here. All right, guys, here's what I did. Move all this crap, except for Mountain Dew, that ain't crap. All right, I sewed this part together. And what I did was, obviously the two tall ends met and the two small ends met. So that's, that's I sewed that together. And luckily I did it beforehand because I learned a couple things. One, um, make sure you buy a very sharp thread or a needle. Um, and two, I, I tried like the fishing line and everything else and you know what, it's not gonna make it really that big a difference. So you can just get regular cotton thread. You'll be fine. Um, let me thread this needle. And I doubled it up. I didn't pay much attention to this part of home ec class. I was more of the cooking bacon type, not the sewing type. So anyways, I doubled it up. And I needed about that much, which is probably a foot and a half. So... And then I doubled it up. Let me bite that. So I doubled, doubled it up, and then I tied a knot on this end. So that, see that? I'm gonna move here. That is all I did. Tied a knot. All right. So now I gotta sew this together to make my hat brim. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew it like this. And then we'll flip it inside out. So, in order to sew this, we don't want to get all this fur on the inside. So when you're going along, and it was actually pretty easy. 
you get it started and then you just keep kind of tucking this fur in as we go and you keep sewing. But let me tell you guys, this is why the mountain men had squaws because sewing this together sucks. It's, uh, it's actually, I had to sharpen my factory needle because it wasn't sharp enough. And then what I did was I'd get it in a spot where I would start it. And then I would have to push it through with the table. And now the first one I did, I got it on the, on the very corner. And I did just through here. And then I did the very corner. I did leather to fur. And then I got to do fur to leather on this one to make, this, to make it right. And I did that so I could kind of match up the corners. And then I took the needle and I run it in between the threads here. Just like this. See that? So it pulled through and it held. So then once I got that started, I just started sewing. And I would go leather... Fur, fur, leather. And that's how I did it. Just keep stitching it. Kind of like, I think it's called a baseball stitch. I'm not really sure. But anyways, get the fur down in there the best you can. And then I would get it start, get it where I needed it to be. And then I'm telling you guys, I had to use the table. Because it sucked. Pushing it through that leather. I, I, I guess they have a thimble or thimble or some shit that you could probably use. Or, you know, I'm, uh, there's things out there. But we're only making one hat, so... I didn't want to invest in a bunch of that stuff. So then I just went like this. Boom, got it started. And I'm just gonna keep sewing that all the way down. Keep tucking that fur in. And just gonna keep sewing it all, all the way. Oh, that one actually went through there pretty easy. So there we go. Maybe you can sew some of it. The other one I did, the leather was a lot thicker it seemed like. But maybe I'm getting down towards the butt here so it's not as thick so anyways that's what I did just keep sewing that push the fur in and then sew it and every once in a while kind of tie your knot off you know do what you got to do and just keep going and I tell you guys there will be bloodshed you will poke yourself with the needle it's brutal I'm telling you this is why we need needed squaws back in the day all right, guys, so I'm not going to bore you with all that. I'm going to sew that up, and then uh, we're going to put the top on. I'll come back for that, and uh, just uh, sit back and start sewing. All right, guys, check it out. Got her all sewed up. Fits my head pretty good. I'm liking it. Um, so here's what we did. We got one side. Sewed to the other side. Just like that. And then when we were done, I just flipped it around like this and I test fit it on my head. Big side on the bottom, top side on top, and it fits freaking awesome. I'm loving it, loving it. So now we have to put our top and our face on. And basically, you have a seam here and a seam there. So you got a seam in the front and a seam in the back. So we're going to cover our seam in the front with the face and then we're going to cover our seam in the back kind of with the tail. So trying to figure out what's going to be the best way to do this and I'm thinking flip it inside out again. This is our top. It's the wide side. This is our, our, I mean, this is the bottom, our wide side, and our top is the narrow side. So we got to get our face sewed on our narrow side. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is start at the back, sew one side, start at the back and sew the other side around to the front. Probably going to follow right through on this line. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to that for the face. So... When I get that far, I will let you know. Um, obviously, I don't know if you guys really want to watch me sew it all. But we'll maybe give it a 30-second deal here. So let me get my needle reloaded. The 
don't go too long with this thread. You know, I got it probably, like I said, 18 inches. That's actually about the maximum loop you want. And then you're gonna have to probably go through two or three of these loops to get this top sewed on because it's a, a lot of sewing. So we'll tie these ends together. It's like this. Cool beans. All right, now, basically I wanna figure out right exactly where the back is. So I'm gonna go right straight, eyeball it from the nose right straight back and I'm thinking my back is right there and that's where I want to join to right where my back seam is. So let's get started. Alrighty, right there. And then we're gonna go right there. There, see that's what I'm telling you, it's hard. You gotta maybe use the table to get it through. So, we'll get our strings all in a knot here, keep everything even. The first stitch is probably the hardest stitch. Things get all out of whack for me. There we go. And I'm gonna come back through the loop here, through the string, and bring it all together. Tucking that fur down in there the best you can. I know it's not gonna be perfect, but it is what it is. So, then I'm going to go leather out to the fur then and on my side, and then I'm going to come up through the top, I'm going to go fur to leather. So everything lays together really, really nice. You don't want to go, I don't know, like leather to fur to leather to fur. You want this all to kind of lay together really, really nice. So, and like I said, that's hard as crap right there. So you'll jam that through there, poke your finger, cuss and swear. It's, uh, it's all part of the game. So if you're a youngster and, uh, you know, don't do this around your parents because it is what it is. All right, guys. So that's it. Leather to fur, fur to leather. Keep stitching it in a rolling pattern. And then go, we're going to go all the way around and we're going to do the other side. And then uh, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do the face. So I will come back to you and let you know. So just take a break. All right, guys, I'm back. I started in the back. And I made it all the way around, and you can see where my line, my circle is. That's my hat brim. This is my face. So I went all the way to where I hit right where the circle starts. You can see it right there. So that's where my circle starts. And I stopped because I don't know what I'm going to do with this face yet. But I'll tell you, when I was sewing it, I found it a lot easier to tuck that down inside while I was sewing. So, that's that. I'm gonna go around here. I'm gonna start on this back side and I'm gonna bring it around and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stop right there where my circle is and then I'm gonna stop and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with the face. So, um, just keep plugging along. The sewing is kind of a pain in the butt but it's gotta get done, you gotta do it. So let me tie this off completely, cut the thread and then just keep moving on. We'll be back. All right, guys, check it out. I still got to figure out how I'm going to sew this down, but I got everything sewed. It's pretty looking pretty, uh, pretty cat's ass. But anyways, let me show you what we got done here. What I did was, this was obviously all inside out. Okay, I've sewed all the way around here to where, just where that circle starts. You know what I mean? Right to there. And then that circle starts across here when we drew our circle. So that's that. I don't have nothing sewed here. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do that because I don't want it to show through. Um, this obviously goes in here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around like this. I'm going to flip this back over and I'm going to make some stitches through the nose um, and maybe a few through the eye and through the cheek, maybe down through the ear and get that to stay but it's looking pretty good. I do have a hole right here that I, I got, uh, must have been from fleshing or whatever, so I'm gonna stitch that up. But uh, otherwise, man, it's looking pretty kick-ass. You know, we got our tail here. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that tail yet, but uh, maybe put it on the inside here. But we're gonna do something, we're gonna have the tail on it. 
And it's gonna be badass because I made it and I like it and it's pretty friggin' cool and it was pretty friggin' easy. Um, so let me just uh, finish up what I'm gonna do there. I'll come back, show you everything that I did, and then uh, we'll wrap this video up and put her on the put her on the interwide web and uh, move on to another Samwood Outdoors adventure. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. There it is. Got the face sewed on. Got my little tail in the back even. And uh, let me show you how I finished this up. You know, this project was really, really super easy. Um, for the face, I just went ahead and, you know, picked the spot, made a little stitch, come out into the face, and then just tied it off really tight. Um, you know, and, and that's how I did all that. It was pretty, actually pretty easy. Put a stitch right here in the nose. You can't even see, I might want to put one in the other nostril. Um, hold that down really good. That was easy. The tail, I just went and sewed it right on there. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy, easy peasy, Japanesey. I might go look for a liner, like a, a, a beanie cap, and sew that in here. And then uh, that'll give it a, you know, a lot nicer inside. Right now it's just plain leather. Um, and I might take a little bit more time if you can see right down here got some open spots for the face is just folded over the front I might go through there and put a few more stitches in but it's basically done guys it was a freaking easy 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 project I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did like subscribe give me some comments and uh, we'll move on to our next project thanks guys